You might uh, hear a lot of people, myself included, talk about using bamboo flooring to make bows. It's a great material for beginners to work with because it's cheap, it's usually easy to get a hold of, and it's easy to work with hand tools. You don't have to worry about growth rings and sap layers, you know, sap wood and heartwood, all that sort of stuff. It's all compressed fairly uniform in the way it acts, and like I said, very cheap. One board can usually only cost me about $10. So this is a bundle of four strips. The stuff I'm talking about is, here it is, it's bamboo flooring. This is called the vertical style. As you can see, bamboo is put together in strips vertically. I have heard of people using the horizontal bamboo flooring to make bows, but apparently they take a lot more string follow. So what you want is the vertical bamboo flooring. It's a tongue and groove style flooring made of lots of glued and compressed pieces of bamboo. You can see the nodes there, what used to be the nodes, there and there. I've actually cut off the tongue side, so that's the groove side. These boards were originally twice the thickness, but I got the person selling it to me to cut it in half on their table saw. So the ones I'm normally getting are about 8 centimetres to 10 centimetres wide, about 180 centimetres tall, and as you can see they're about 12 millimetres. So if you cut them to the sort of width you desire, you've already got the length pretty much for a full sized adult bow, but the boards are too thin on their own. I make my children's size bows out of one layer and then shave it down. But to make an adult size bow, if we look over here, if you look down the middle there you can see the glue line. I've actually planed flat and glued two strips together. Now a lot of this will actually disappear in the making, but in order to get the required thickness, there you go, there's the tongue and the groove. In order to get the required thickness, I've had to glue two of them together. You can see this is a lighter coloured board. This is the natural colour. This one is a sort of a light cappuccino sort of colour. And here's one I prepared earlier. This is looking at the back of a bow that I'm just starting to shape for myself. I'm hoping to get to about 30 pounds at 28 inches. Here's the centre I've marked out. If we turn it over on its side, this used to be the same as this. Two full thicknesses about 25-30 mil thick. If you look closely, if my camera will show it, I've left, I've planed off most of one layer, leaving about 6 mil as the back of the bow. And then this will be the belly of the bow. Obviously this is my handle area here. It's going to bend that way. Tapering up to the tip. I've got to nip that off and obviously I haven't started tillering or shaping at all. This is just the very very basic initial stages. Tips are about 12mm by 12mm at the moment. The glue I use to uh, glue my staves together is Tight Bond 2 T-I-T-E. It's a PVA style glue but it's a bit more advanced than your average uh, sort of aquadeer that you get. This bottle cost me I think about 50 dollars and so far it's made about three or four bows so you're only using about you know maybe two dollars of glue per bow so combine that with a ten dollar floorboard and you've got the basics of a bow for twelve dollars and here are two bows that I've made of the bamboo material I must say I did not make these purely by myself I was shown how to uh, make bows by a fellow named Paul. If you've seen my videos on serving a string and making a braided string, those are his hands and his voice that you'll be hearing giving you the information, so don't thank me, thank him. Okay, so what we have here are two bows. The one on the right, the darker bow, is a 50 pound at 28 inches flat bow. I've just put a basic leather handle over it. As you can see, the handle section narrows in and then flares out to what we call the fade outs and then tapers down 
down to the tips. This was originally the natural white coloured bamboo, I just used a walnut coloured estopole and stain so it gives it a bit of waterproofing and a bit of colour. So that one is 50 pound at 28 inches and the bow next to it is a Victorian style longbow. More of a slender bow overall. It's got the same narrow, it's sort of a, like an hourglass figure, the handle. It's a very subtle taper and then basically a straight line from there all the way up narrowing to the tips. Now if you look closely, if my camera will show this, that is linen fabric on the backing of the bow. I don't have any rawhide or anything at the moment to use, so I have heard of other manufacturers, and historically, people using linen fabric and other types of fabric to back their bow. It doesn't add any power, but it can provide some protection for splintering and just overall damage. I glued it on using the same Type Bond 2 wood glue and then I just put a clear matte varnish over the top. That's that. Not too pretty. <laughs> this is my first experiment with backing a bow. But it's worked. It's held together. Last weekend I put about 100 arrows through this bow and as you saw it's only got about an inch and a half of string follow at the moment so that's pretty good. And hasn't blown up in my face either which is good. Now if we turn both bows inwards, you can see the glue line there running up the middle. So that's where my hand goes, I like that of course. Tapering from the handle there, narrowing in and fading out to the tips. And this one is the same, thickest at the handle and then tapering all the way up. Now let's put them on the tillering board and I'll show you how they look. Okay, this is the Victorian longbow, 45 pounds at 28 inches. And here we have the 50 pound flat bow. So there we go, two perfectly functional bows made from vertical bamboo flooring, nice and cheap, about $10 a board, $2 worth of glue, make your own string and away you go. Uh, for anyone like myself who is making a start at you know, making bows, you don't want to be cutting down a tree and waiting two years for it to dry properly, you just want to sort of get out there, make a few mistakes, make a couple of working bows. Just get started learning the basics. This stuff is fantastic. But a word of warning, when you're doing anything with it that involves making dust, wear a mask or a respirator. I've been told that the bamboo dust is very bad for your lungs. This is the bow just after being unstrung. And you can see there's about an inch or an inch and a half of string follow on the limb tip which for a self bow made of a, you know, not very dense material is not too bad. You have to expect some string follow in a self bow and especially considering how relatively soft this bamboo flooring is it makes a surprisingly good bow.